Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, we're going to be seeing how we can generate our own next sentence generation using GPT-2. So in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a custom data set for our own case scenario and we're going to be using GPT-2 pre-trained model and we're going to be training it for our own use case. So this whole technique of next sen sentence generation, we generally call it as language modeling. So in this language modeling, we generally take few sentence and we train it on the um, pre-trained models and fine tune on it. And then we try to find out the probabilities of generating the next sentence or next word. And this is how the this model uh, generally use. So for this uh, tutorial, we're going to be using a simple transformer library, which is a very awesome la library used uh, above the transformers, which is nothing but an hugging face library. So it is just a wrap, wrapper over the uh, transformer library. So you can also uh, watch my previous videos on NLP in which I have covered NER as well as, as, well as uh, classification model. So I have covered all the things in detail for simple transformers. So you can go and visit and just check over there like what is simple transformers. So let's continue in this tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are, we are going to use simple transformers. So let's just let's pip install it. And let's walk through it like how we're going to be training our own custom GPT-2 model for next sentence generation. So it is getting installed and uh, you can see it uh, for my system. It is requirement already satisfied. So we should wait for a few seconds and it will get stalled. Okay, so the installation is done and now we have to reach our runtime. So let's click on it and click on yes button to restart our runtime. Our runtime has been restarted. Now what we have to do is we have to just check our uh, assigned GPU. So we can check over by using this NVIDIA SMI command. And we can check that uh, we have been assigned Tesla T4 GPU with uh, 16 GB of RAM. So we can use it. So the next step is we have to import the functions for training our own language model. So the lang for the for training language model in uh, uh, using simple transformer library, we have to import language modeling model uh, function and language modeling arguments from simple transformer dot language modeling. So this uh, this functions will help us to uh, load the pre-trained GPT two model and help us to train the model from scratch. So let's just run it. So as you can see, this simple transform library uh, does not only involves training with the GPT-2 models, it involves all kind of models which are available on Hugging Face library. So these are the list of models which are generally supported in simple transform library. So you can also uh, train with BERT, you can also train with Camembert and Distal BERT, Electra, GPT-2. We are going to see long formers, Open G OpenAI, GPT, Roberta. So these are the uh, state of art models which are generally uh, present in Hugging Face library. So we are just directly importing all those functionalities from Hugging Face and just using it over here. So this is the uh, thing uh, and we are just showing it for the GPT-2 model. You can also use this particular uh, code for other type of uh, models like such as BERT and, and Distal BERT and Electra and so on. So now our language model and uh, language model arguments are being imported from simple transformer library so we are going to configure our own custom model so for that we're going to be uh, inputting or we're going to be changing a few of the arguments which are default in the language modeling arguments so these are nothing but the set of settings which we are going to be giving to the model before training so these are just simple uh, steps you have to see and these are the few uh, arguments I have taken from uh, this language modeling arguments. You can also explore this arguments. It has varieties of uh, fun uh, functions and methods which will help to train your custom model in a more efficient way. So that means it will give you more control and more detailed information on training the model. So this is where uh, this uh, configurations of your model will be present. So this whole uh, function will help you to configure your model. So in this uh, configurations, as you can see, I have uh, taken this whole class and created an object called model underscore arguments. 
and inside that i have uh, taken these arguments inside it and i have specified these kind of settings to custom train my model so these are just my settings you can also go and check uh, on the uh, document documentation of uh, simple transformers and just can work on with your own custom settings so as you can see i have i have given a number of training box too and you can specify save best model as true and you can give the number of batch size as eight and you can specify the data set size, a type as simple so these are all the settings we have to uh, generally provide uh, inside the uh, model settings and you can just after this you can start running the model so our next step is to bring up the train and text file so for that i have already imported train and test file inside our collab environment so let us explore like what are these train and test files so these are this is a train file which i'm going to show you so this is how it you should be maintaining your data so this is normal ai research paper data where you can find all kind of abstracts present from all kind of research papers so this is the whole data you have to prepare like this in form of text format uh, so, and you have to save it in the form of .txt so this is how the data is prepared for training this model and now we'll see how we are preparing the test data so for test data we'll just open this test file and we can see that for test file we are providing a single line of sentence so that we can give this model the train model and create the the sentence whatever the sentence uh, it has learned from the train data dictionary so after this we're going to be seeing like how we can train the model by using this train and text file so uh, for this we're going to be using language modeling model uh, function from our simple transform library which we have just imported in the top over here and after this inside this we're going to be passing the arguments such as first argument is uh, specifies the name of the model so you can give any name so i have given the name gpt2 and then you have to give uh, the model's path that is the path for the model's weight so if you specify gpt2 it will download the weight from the transformer libraries and here you have to specify the model configurations so whatever the configurations you have put it over here it will be specified over here and then after that you have to specify the train file even you can specify the evaluation file over here but i have it not worried because of the time constraints because it will take much more time to uh, train the model and evaluate at the same time so for this uh, you can explore more on this like uh, what are the arguments are there and specify and play with those kind of arguments so this is a, this is the basic uh, argument i have taken so you can just uh, go with this uh, arguments and train the model so we will have to wait for a few, few minutes to get it trained because it's a huge model and it will take time to train on our own custom data set. And now I'm going to run this whole cell so that model getting trained. So as you can see, the model is getting downloaded. All the weights of V2 is getting downloaded and soon we'll start with the train. So once the model is downloaded, you can start the training by using this model.train underscore model. So we're going to be specifying the train file inside it and evaluation file inside it. So our evaluation file is test file, which we have specified and which we have imported in our local environment. So we'll just uh, specify this uh, method and inside this method, we're just going to specify this test file and we're going to start the training. So we have to wait for a few minutes. As I told you, we, this training will take a long time. So even if we are pausing with the two box, so it will take a few minutes to get it trained because we are training gpt 2 model so it's very huge model so it will take time to get it trained so let's wait for a few seconds uh, and hopefully we'll get back soon so as you can see our model training has been completed and we have completed the model training for only two epochs and you can see the loss of this training so for the first epoch we had a loss of uh, 3.885 and for the second epoch we have loss of 3.56 so as you can see uh, we have uh, reduced the loss so if you keep on training for a few more epochs it will reduce to uh, um, near to zero so we have to keep on training for uh, for getting a better accuracy on this model 
So let's evaluate this model on the test file. So let's run this cell and let's get the output of the result. So we can see the output has been uh, is being stored in the result uh, variable. So let's just print it out. So let's see the uh, final uh, loss of this model by using this test file. So we can see the loss on the test file is 3.316 and per perplexity tensor is uh, 27.5. That means it's a loss function which is generally used for uh, considering or comparing the, uh, the human language uh, generation with the model generation. So we generally compare the human language generation with the model generation by using this perplexity matrix. So the loss has been 27.553. So uh, we want it to be near to zero, but it's fine for this kind of training. Like we have to train it for only two epochs. So I guess it's fine for this scenario. But let's continue on uh, viewing the uh, the whole uh, training part on the tensor board. So let's see the performance of our model by launching this tensor board. And we can see the loss graph and accuracy graph and how it has been trained. So it will take few seconds to get launched. So let us wait for a few seconds and uh, it will get launched soon. So as you can see, it started showing up. So you can see that uh, the loss is continuously decreasing. So it, we have taken only two epochs, so it is showing for the two epochs. So you can see that loss is continuously decreasing. And if we keep on training for more epochs, so it will be uh, get, getting a more and more better model. And we, we can see the loss will be uh, near to zero at some point. So you can see this LR that is a uh, learning rate scheduler. So you can see at some point of the epoch, it is getting initiated and, and after that it's getting down. So the learning rate has been put, went down a little more for further of the epochs. So this is what you can, uh, uh, you can trigger it on by using the language model, by using language model arguments. So you can play with this kind of parameters, learning rate and other kind of parameters in the model scenario. So now uh, once the model training is done and let's just uh, use it for our own uh, text generation or sentence, uh, next sentence generation. So for that, you have to again import a, a function from simple transformer that is language generation model and language generation argument. So these are the two things we have to import from sim a simple transformer so that we can generate our own uh, sentence by using uh, the, our pre-trained model. So once the training has been done, so we have, so the, whatever the uh, models, uh, it has been stored in the, in the directory called output. So you can just go and click on this output and you can see the model checkpoint. So we have trained for two epochs. So latest uh, trained model is for the two epochs. So you can go and check over the models, what it has stored all kind of uh, configurations for that model to be uh, saved. So this is all the configuration and all the model files for each and every pop is being saved over here. So you can just go and access it. So these files we're going to be using it because we have trained our own custom model. And for by using this file, we're going to be using our language generation uh, files so that we can use it to generate more text on it. So, uh, so in our next step, we're going to be uh, importing our uh, language generation arguments and language generation model functions. And we're going to be, uh, uh, configuring this settings like we, we're going to be configuring this language generation model to generate the sentence and we're going to be setting that how many sentence or how many words it should be printing it out so we have specified these kind of uh, parameters inside this language generation arguments so right now i'm going to be saying that let, let's generate 100 uh, words after the uh, after a given sentence so this is the general parameter I have given, but you can play with this. I, I will provide a link in the description so you can go over there and just play with these configurations and get with the more accurate model. So this, this argument generally provides the uh, better, uh, better control over to your model and you can just play with this. So let's run this and let's import this uh, functions from simple transformer. So once this uh, import is done, now you can specify the path. So here we have uh, used language model generation and inside it, as you know, we have to provide the name of the model. So I have given a temporary name, the GPT-2. And in the second uh, argument, you have to provide the path where the pre-trained model that you have trained, you have to, you have to get the path of that. So we have trained our model over here 
and it has been saved in the output directory. So we'll go inside it and we have 24 to epoch. So we'll reuse the latest epoch. So the last epoch was second epoch. So we'll take that and we'll copy that path and we'll just provide it in this in this argument. So let us just copy it and paste it over here so that it will take all these model files and it will generate a language generation model. So after loading this model, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be giving some sentence to the model so that it will generate some output. So for this sentence generation, we're going to be using this, uh, our own predict model and we're going to be using its generate function. So, and it will take input all kinds of sentence, which we're going to be giving inside it and it will generate a sentence and it will generate a sentence of length hundred. So for this sentence, I'm going to be using this test file, which we have already given to the model while evaluation. So I'm picking this line, this line from this text file and I'm putting it over here. So this is what the sentence I'm giving it and let us see how this works. And it has to generate some sentence uh, based on the training data, which we have given to the model. So now the output has been stored inside this output variable. So we'll printing it out the result. So you can see it has printed the result and these all things which had which it has learned from the train data set it is by using that information it is printing it so it is generally generating the data so we have given just a single line from that our test file and it is able to generate the text so the accuracy of this uh, sentence generation can be improved more by by training for more longer time so as you can see let's go through this text so you can see despite the recent success of deep learning such models are still far far from some human abilities like learning from few examples reasoning and explaining decision in this paper we focus on organ annotations in medical images and we introduce our reasoning framework that is based on learning fuzzy relations on small data sets so as you can see it has pretty much done amazing job while uh, generating a text and we can see a uh, less grammatical uh, mistakes because gpt2 model has been used at the back end so it has already been trained and so we have used its capabilities and fine-tuned gpt model on our own custom data set so this is how you can uh, train your own custom data set and you can train your own custom model by using the gpt2 and you can also train it by using a gpt uh, gpt1 and a roberta model or bird model so it's just dependent upon you and you can train it for any kind of scenario and you have to just take care of the data set format which we have shown you like how you have to prepare the data set and how to give it to the model so this is how you train for uh next sentence generation so you can use it and you can use it for your own scenario i hope you have enjoyed this video so keep learning and thank you